All right, so we're back in the shop. Uh, I had something else planned for today's video, but we actually just got our Speedway car back for paint, and we really kind of need to fire that thing together. We got Daytona coming up in a couple weeks. So I guess that's what we'll be showing you today. Uh, I got a few different things I'm gonna do with the car. We'll probably throw the AC box in it, uh, have the grommets and things like that I need to put in it. It was a bare chassis yesterday. I worked on it a little bit and uh, got started, started a little bit this morning as well. Uh, I can show you guys what I did yesterday and this morning, and uh, we'll go ahead and get into it. All right, so basically yesterday this thing was bare chassis. It was just this, the metal frame, nothing else. Uh, yesterday we got the steering column in, throttle pedal in, these brake grommets, this throttle, which is called a witch's hat. Wayne got the hard lines in her this morning, but uh, I think the next thing we'll go with will be the AC box. We just had the AC box in our other car. We went and tested Monday at Charlotte. And uh, it's a little different mount. I had to work on the mount a little bit this morning. But we'll get the mount taken apart that I used in our intermediate car. And I'll get it set up for our Speedway car. And we'll go ahead and put that in. All right, so starting with the cool box, when you're, it's 140 degrees inside the car, it feels like it's 60 degrees inside your helmet. This will plug into my helmet like that and that's how it all works. This is how we mount it in our intermediate cars. Uh, it goes along the bar, it goes behind the seat. The reason it's raised up like this is the fire bottles actually mount right here, so it's gotta kinda get jacked up over that. Um, I'll be using this mount in the Speedway car. It mounts straight to the floor. So pretty much I get all this unbolted and then bolted onto here. And then these bolts right here will go through the floor. It'll mount straight to the floor. We'll get our hoses ran and all that stuff. And uh, it'll be in the car. some velcro right there and then i'll run a hose from over there see where those, those two bolts over there i'll bolt a little duct over there run a hose down underneath this bar straight in there then i gotta like I say i gotta get a long hose for this because i gotta get all the way up here to my helmet if y'all can't tell this is my favorite tool i mean that's pretty much in there it's nice and solid uh, we'll run our wires and then I'll wait to do the hoses till the body's on it and I can kind of get an idea of where they have to go, where that duct is in relation to the B post on the door. And that way I can kind of maximize arrow and things like that. So when you're dealing with new cars, you, you can't have your shoes on inside the car. So don't come at me for being in my socks right now. And also they're not dirty. They're supposed to be brown like that. I'll stick this first so I know where it's going. Right there seems perfect. So now basically this power wire here powers the whole thing. I turn it on and off right here. When we get the dash in here and all the power, uh, there's a little power post that goes right here. And we'll run our power off that. We'll come down along the brake line and uh, power the old AC unit up. But as far as that project goes, it's pretty much done for now. And we'll go on to the next thing. All right, so the next thing we're going to work on here is these uh, fire bottle hoses. But basically, this one is one I feel like if I pull the fire cable, it all comes out of here. So what I'm thinking is we'll come down, we'll run along with these, and then I'll put this guy somewhere on this bar right here. And that's looking like a good spot to put it. We're just gonna wing it on this one. Use the pop rivets, we'll use the same thing again. Here for this. Straight at least. Perfect. 
that's fire hoses. I'm actually pretty happy with how all that came out. These cars are, the fuel pumps are cable driven, so our cable will run through the car up to the oil pump. It drives the oil pump, turns, turns the cable, runs through the car to the fuel pump in the back, turns the pump back there, and that is how the fuel runs. We really don't tie that to anything. We don't want it to be too constricted. Um, so we kind of just lay that in there and it'll run along with the wires, but not exactly tied to them. All right, tighten this back here. This is what kind of holds that in. I'll get a socket, tighten that up, and then we'll be done with fire bottles. The next thing we'll probably do is I'll get my grommets in there uh, for the fuel cable, like I was just talking about. We'll do one here, rubber grommet rivets there. We'll have one that rivets right here. And then I have another one that'll go back in the trunk area uh, that rivets in. We have a lot of other ones that kind of just sit in the, the ring of the hole. And then we'll move on to the next thing, which I don't know what it is gonna be yet, but I'll figure it out. All right, so these are the, uh, the grommets we'll use. Pretty much just rivet in these holes here, rivet in. This will go on the rear uh, package tray. Cable goes through here in the front. This one will lay on the tunnel. Cable will go back through here. This is for the hose, the fuel hose. The hose will go through here and run through the car. Start from the front and go back with these things. Uh, like I said, this is the, that's the front. tricky because I can't just reach through the uh, shifter boot hole, put my washers on. But I think I can get through the oil tank hole, not, it shouldn't be too hard. This is gonna be real tough to get the backup washers on. It always is when working in the trunk area, but I think I can get it. Hope she stays. This is the fuel line. It goes in this red tube here. Basically, if you're ever in a wreck or something and they gotta like cut pieces of the car up, uh, they won't cut this because they know that's where the fuel line is. in the right direction so something like that we'll get these two bolts out so I can actually bolt this piece down and then uh, we'll get to bolting that front piece in just so it's all locked in here and uh, then I'll try to actually get the hoses going where they need to be going Another task down. Um, what should I do next? I might seal up that gear cooler duct just because uh, I've been wanting to do that since yesterday. So I'll go cut some vinyl. I we have some uh, vinyl that's kind of like paint matched this gray. I'll cut some straight strips and I'll get that all sealed off. Great strip. something up and then you forget you just heat it up and you go grab it that's usually how I burn myself I know a lot of this stuff 
might seem kind of small and irrelevant, but really when you're building a race car, it all means something. Especially, like I said, when you build one that's new and just got painted, like you want it all to look as nice as you can. side door pad I guess you call it. It uh, separates where the door foam and everything is on the outside of the car to the actual interior of the car itself. All right. The good thing about this one is, is all these are threaded so it should go together. A lot of the time it'll just be drilled you put a nut on the other side but these are all threaded so I can kind of just turn them in there. Uh, now they're all started, I'm just going to hammer them home with the impact. Another project done. What we'll do uh, right now, I'm going to try to get that X area over there. I'm kinda, I need to put some roll bar padding over there. So I got to put a few pieces over there. And I think one up here as well. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'll see what I can find for pieces. Back inside here. This piece goes right here. Stick that. Flip it a little bit. There we go. And who is this for? Uh, is it Kevin James or something? This is probably the interview guy calling me back. It is. So we'll go back in there and do that real quick. Hello. <laughs> but yeah, we just gotta uh, learn from our mistakes from last year and uh, move forward. thing about this is finding hose clamps. All right, just gotta find another one this side and we'll be in business. Speedway car. That'll be close enough for now, and then once I get my seat in here and a body on here, I can kind of fine tune it. I know it's broken right here, but it's the last big one I got, so it's just gonna have to do. I mean, if I'm looking out that part of the mirror, I'm probably in, got bigger problems than the mirror being cracked. Come on. Ian. Back come here. Hey, hey. No, no, no. All right, so that basically does it for the day. Uh, I know I didn't have a you know, certain project for y'all, but uh, I figured it'd be kind of neat to show y'all just the, the little pieces that go into building a whole race car. Um, you know, we did the AC box, we ran some fire hoses, uh, put the right side door pad in. You know, we're trying to get this speedway car built to go to Daytona. If y'all like just kind of me doing the little random things, y'all let me know. Or if y'all want to do a certain project, I can do that too. If y'all liked it, you know, like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment. If y'all want me to do something different, uh, and we'll see y'all next time.